welcome to 1336 E News, where we are on the way. With JJ on the scene, Alondra directing, Mitchell behind the great six desk with Darren, Aiden dupes it out with Nikki, along with Colton and Jaden. students will greet Central Wisconsin on the WSAW Channel 7 News in Wausau. That's interesting. I remember being an elementary student. It seems like only yesterday. Dude, it was last year. Oh, yeah. Anyways, the all Bancroft bands will be playing in their spring concert on Thursday, May 9th at 7 p.m. in the school auditorium. The concert will feature a lot of great music from four different bands, as well as the end of the year awards presentation. There will be even be some singing and dancing. You won't want to miss this show, so mark your calendars now. Remember, the Spring Band Concert is on Thursday, May 9th at 7 p.m. in the Almond Bancroft School Auditorium. Hope to see you there. The middle school spring dance was held on Friday, March 19th. The music was great and everyone seemed to have a good time. And there, what was your favorite part of the dance? My favorite part of the dance was all the fun dancing and the good Mountain Dew. That sounded fun, Mitchell. Okay, well, on to our interview of the week. We wanted to know what people think about our school. So, JJ went on the scene to interview Annie. Let's see what she had to say. Hi there, I'm JJ, and this is Annie, and this is 1336 E News. So, do you like school? Yes, I do. Why do you like school? Um, I like the teachers and the students. Do you not like school? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, Dad, what's your favorite subject? I don't know, it would probably be band, if I would want my flute. So, uh, why? Is that why? Yeah. What's your least favorite subject? It would probably be when we had study skills. I don't, it just wasn't good. Like, it was a little hard to concentrate in there. Yeah. Everyone was doing it the next day. Big packets. This has been 1336 years. Back to you. If you would like to give your opinions about school, please let the 1336 E-News crew know, and you might have a chance to be on one of our future episodes. Before we move into the second half of our program, Miss Stibbs has a reminder for the high school students. Remember, high school students, this is the last call for your yearbook orders. There is no guarantee for there being any leftover yearbooks so per to purchase in the fall. So get your $42 to Miss Stibbs by Wednesday, April 24th. And don't forget that the graduation ads for the seniors are also due by April 24th. Whoops, that's almost um, like we're interrupting your program for Aiden and Mickey's Great Debate. Hello and welcome to Aiden and Mickey's Great Debate. I'm Aiden and I'm Mickey. Today's subject fittingly, history versus science. Let's get right to the points. Aiden, you go first. Thanks, Mixter. Don't call me that. Okay. My first point in history, we get few assignments. That gives students few chances to mess up their grades. True, but that also gives students less chances to make up the grades if they mess on a paper. So few assignments is a risk. Good point. Your turn. All right. In science, your teacher is a very fun-loving person. They often show videos on the internet. I can't think of a counterstatement. Ha, that's one for me. <sighs> Your, Your turn. Thanks. In history, also, many vi videos are shown. 
yet these videos are from a DVD. Good point! But that means students spend more time watching videos than doing work. Crud. My turn. Well, in science, the teacher usually gives you second chances on missing assignments and that sort. And that sort? Really? All of a sudden, I'm sitting next to a British-talking American. Right on, old chum. Oh, boy. Your turn, old bean. Don't call me old. Thanks. My final statement, the history teacher gives students some mingle time at the beginning of class. But that means that you have less time to actually learn in class. Aha, but once mingle time is over, the teacher makes it clear mingle time is over. Um, I get a point! Woo! <sighs> Take us home, Mickey! My closing statement, in science, you can use your study guide on tests, which really makes tests easier. But perhaps too much easier. All right, we ended in a tie. You can decide the winner at 74 Aiden W 74 at Aiden, I mean, gmail.com. Dang it. Some restrictions apply. You must be born on December 31st, 1878. You must be native to Africa, and you must be named Leary Langenhuber. I'm Aiden. And I'm Mickey, and this has been Aiden, Aiden and, and Mickey's, Mickey's Great Debate. Debate. We'll see you next time. second half of the 1336 E! News, where we are on the way. On May 22nd, grades uh, 7 through 8 will hold the Science Fun Festivals to show off science fair projects with the elementary students. Where will this take place? It's going to be in the cafeteria from 1.30 to 3.20 p.m. Good to know. In music news, there are five students participating in State Solo and Assemble Festival on Saturday, May 4th at UW Stevens Point. I know Rebecca Callio is singing a classical solo and a musical theater solo and a duet. Mariah right, Van is singing a classical solo and duet. Angela Iwanski is singing a musical theater solo and playing an alto saxophone solo. Raiden Van is playing a euphonium solo. And John Wagner is playing a uh, guitar solo that he wrote himself. Wow, he wrote the solo himself? That's pretty awesome. On to sports. The athletic banquet is being held on May 15th this year. The meal begins at 6.30, and the awards ceremony starts at 7.30 in the Legion Hall. Hope to see you there. The CWC canceled half the baseball games this year, so we are going from an 18-game conference season to a 9-game conference season due to the 2013 Ice Age. The Old Bancroft Awards Ceremony is May 6, starting at 7.30 in the auditorium. There will be a wide variety of awards and scholarships for students this year, so if you're interested in supporting the students, please join in on the fun. Our interviews of the week come from some of our, our middle schoolers, students, who wanted to share their views on school. Take it away, Alondra. Hi, Emma. Hi, Alondra. <laughs> what do you like about school? Um, I like, um, well, I like being here with my friends and hanging out with them. That's pretty cool. What's your favorite yeah. subject? Um, my favorite subject is English. What's your worst subject? My worst subject is probably math. Why? Because it's, um, I don't usually, I don't get a lot of the things we do. It doesn't come on fast enough. Mm. Do you like our dress-up days? Um, yeah. What do you like about our dress-up days? Um, I like pajama day and spirit day. So, yeah. That's good. Oh. Thank you. Great job, Alondra. It's always good to get a view of a student. Jaden, I remember you giving an interview before today's program. Let's see what the interviews had to say. Hi, really. Hi, Michaela. How are you doing today? Good. What is your least favorite subject in school? Math. Science. Why don't you like math? Because some of it's too hard for me and I can't figure it out. Why don't you like science? I like how it's like, like all the microscopic things, like you can't feel type of Okay. Um, what is your favorite thing in school? I'd say social studies, science. Why do you like science? I like science because right now we learn about space and I really love space and I always wanted to like learn about space more. Okay. What was your favorite class again? Social studies. Okay, why do you like social studies? Because I like learning about all the stuff that happened before.
Okay. If you could pick any classes during the day, what would they be? Um, language. Why would you pick language? Because um, I like the teacher, Mr. Storall, and um, and he does like, really funny things, and I like doing like some some of the spelling packets. Are, okay. Okay. I guess I would say social studies because he always, Mr. Stewart always makes it really fun. Okay. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. We appreciate that everyone had to, what everyone had to say about the experiences in the school. If you have any ideas on how to make improvements, please talk to your 1336 E-News members before or after school. We can also be found in the lunchroom most days. Well, you know what that sound, sound means. Indeed I do. We'll see you next time. This has been 1336 E-News, where we are on the